Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Talking Cardboard. My name is Corey, this is Jerch, and Jerch saw something on Twitter and he bought it. All right, Jerch, the big question, you saw something on Twitter and you bought it. What was so great that you just had to buy it? Well, it, to, to kind of preface, uh, I'm not an impulse buyer. I'm not an impulse anything. So the fact that I saw something on Twitter and I bought it is kind of a big deal for me. Yeah. Uh, I saw FFG, Fantasy Flight Games, uh, had was teasing this new game that was coming out and then it just dropped literally a few days ago. Yep. Uh, and it's called Unfathomable. And uh, then upon learning about this game more, I found that there were some rumblings of this game coming out, but I just hadn't heard anything. But anyways, it falls under the uh, Lovecraftian kind of lore, Cthulhu, that mythos, that type yeah. of stuff. But the, the game, I'm told, is a lot like the old Battlestar Galactica yeah. hidden identity game. Yep. Yep. Uh, and that was really intriguing to me. I love the the mythology of kind of the, the horror that uh, is in like the Arkham Horror games, Eldritch Horror, those types of games. I really like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the idea of hidden role and hidden identity and, and are you uh, a human or are you kind of uh, like a, one of the, the deep ones? Yeah. So trying to sabotage. Uh, and does I it have that. a does it have a fair amount of like social deduction in it? Do you know, or is that kind of what it's? Details for? are scant right now. Yeah. Um, so it's still, and they said uh, over the next few weeks and months, the game is officially releasing in September. But I pre-ordered it uh, <laughs> yesterday, so um, they're going to be releasing and more you found details out about, about it, it yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I saw it on Twitter and I bought it. <laughs> Hopefully, this will not be a recurring theme. Uh, that might hurt my wallet, but uh, anyways, uh, details are, are kind of scant, but it falls under the same um, Arkham Horror, Eldritch Horror type of theme where you have your your unique character and they've got kind of abilities, but the story of this is you're, you're on a, a cruise liner, I think the SS Atlantica. They've, they've only talked briefly about the captain of the ship, uh, and this takes place in, I believe, 1913. So it's, it predates the other, like, Arkham Horror, Eldritch Horror type things, so they can bring in a whole bunch of new characters. Cool. Uh, a fresh look to all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the idea of social deduction and trying to figure out the hidden roles. Um, if you're a human, if you're, you're not, just love that idea, and we're adding a little more depth to... Um, different games like The Resistance, where all it is is social deduction. Um, oh, yeah. But we're adding cooperative aspect to it, a little resource management. I'm just really excited to uh, to play this game, so I wanted to talk about it. Exactly, and I, I think that's one of our favorite game mechanisms out of most of the mechanisms out there is that social deduction. Even, like, you, you brought up the resistance. Mm -hmm. At its core, it's just pure social deduction. You get a card whether or not you're a spy or if you're a part of the resistance, and go ahead and try to deduce from there. And uh, I think there has been so many iterations of games like that out there where they just kind of retheme, just, you know, here's some cards, social deduction, you know, go ahead and do your thing now, but haven't added extra, a whole lot of extra layers other, other than Battlestar Galactica. But I think what I heard, and this is one of the rare times that Jerch actually found out about a game before I did, but I think I heard that this is going to play quicker than Battlestar Galactica as well, because Battlestar Galactica, I think, was like a three to four hour experience. So this will play a little bit quicker, adds more meat onto the social deduction type type of feel um, with some theme around it. Yeah, and, and I'm big on theme. That's one of the most important things when I'm looking for a game that I really gravitate towards is it's the, the theme and the lore and the story that you come up with. And it seems like that this is going to be a, a, an, ex, an excellent union of yeah. all these things. So we're really looking forward to it. Um, and it comes out in September, and then I will be getting mine uh, immediately after. And Jerch backed it, so I don't have to. <laughs> that's one save for the librarian that he doesn't have to be buying all the games that yeah. this is one that i am going to be able to get my family to play whether they want to or not yeah uh i'm going to be able to kind of really um rope people in if, if you've got different game level of experience to at least try it once with me after we've played it a bunch yeah. so then i learn it and i'll be able to really um usher everybody through but yep. um I'm looking forward to really sharing this game with people in my circle as well. Yeah, and I think I think just explaining the game mechanisms behind social deduction and um, just kind of explaining it to non-gamers is a little bit easier for them to understand and grasp and get more involved with 
than some of the other uh, layers and layers of different mechanisms in other games. Yes. I think this one, regardless of the theme, it'll be easier to pull people into it just by explaining how the game works. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm hoping that the kind of Cthulhu theme is going to be a little more widespread than if it was Battlestar Galactica, yeah. where, I mean, that's got a very hardcore following, but if you're not in that mindset or, or the kind of the, the um, science fiction, then you may not really gravitate towards this game. But uh, horror is a little bit more either all-encompassing or clearly a I'm going to stay away. Yeah. But I think I'll really try to, to bring this to different tables with different groups of people, and we'll obviously be doing quick reviews on it as soon as we get a couple of playthroughs in. Yeah, yeah, this is just a very, very early initial video of just something we wanted to bring up because we're excited about it. And the Cthulhu theme wrapped around it, I just kind of wanted to mention that it has just been, what, over 100 games of the Cthulhu theme. When I initially found out about it after George told me about it, I was just kind of like, oh, here we go, another Cthulhu game. But I think this is going to be kind of a fun spin on Cthulhu that's never been done before. and. Also, the horror genre hasn't really been done in social deduction very often either. Like you said, it's mostly like science fiction mm -hmm. or fantasy. I think kind of getting the more horror vibe uh, in this is going to be really fun to try as well. Yeah, the, the, the closest thing I could see in like a social deduction is almost uh, Betrayal at House on a Hill. Yeah. W but that's more the horror side and the storytelling side and less the deduction. I mean, we do have Dead of Winter as well, yeah. um, but that, that game um, is kind of a little bit older now. Do you know if this is supposed to be app driven at all or no? Uh, I don't remember, and that's probably going to be coming out yeah. over some of their reviews. No. Um, so we might have another like update video yeah. in a couple of couple of months yep. as it gets closer, where we kind of revisit this. Then, but you know, keep keep your eye on our Twitter account as we give updates on this. Like and subscribe, so you can find more details about this game or other new games that we find pretty quick. Other things that are coming down the pipe. I think that's about it. Until next time, you all have a great day.